Okay, today's tutorial is going to be how to do a neutral eye. This is a request from Princess Bubbles 112. The first thing I'm going to use is a paint pot by MAC. The color is groundwork. I'm going to be placing that on top of the eyelid. This is going to be used as a primer instead of using something such as Urban Decay. Simply smooth the paint pot all over the eyelid. Once you have that blended in very well in the thickness that you want, make sure you clean it up so you have the achieved and desired look. Simply rub it in very smoothly. Sometimes I use Urban Decay, but for this tutorial, considering I'm doing a neutral eye, I will be using the MAC product. The next step is to use the eyeshadow brush to put your light gold color at the beginning of your eye. Simply pat it in with a downward motion, making sure that it's extremely smooth while patting it in. Once you have it on, blend it to make sure you get a smooth and beautiful finished look. This is the light gold color within the e.l.f. neutral palette. The next step is to use the same brush, dipping it in your second color and placing it on the outer edge of your eyelid. Make sure you smooth it in very carefully. You don't want it to look sloppy, you want it to look clean as possible. And then simply blend the two colors together with an outer stroke from the inner corner to the outer edge of your eye. Perfect. Here I chose to use a very slim lip brush. This is to do the V on the outer corner of my eye to make sure I define the crease very carefully. You want to do a sweeping motion from the lash line to the crease of the eye in your darker color, making a V. Or as some people will say, a greater than or less than sign. Apply more color as needed to make sure you darken it up to your liking. Keep going in a sweeping motion from the center of the crease to the outer edge of the eye. This will ensure that you've blend the colors very well and define your eye definition look. Here I've inserted more color to make it a little bit darker. Continuing with a V sweeping motion from the crease to the outer edge of the eye. Going back to the eyeshadow brush, I dip it into my fourth color, which, uh, which is the lighter color in the e.l.f. palette. Simply brushing it on to the eye bone area, the eyebrow bone area. Patting it in very lightly. Just going right above the eyelid and below the eyebrow bone smoothing on smoothing in the two colors then I proceeded to grab a smudging brush dipping it in the darker brown color once again going over the V making sure it is well defined and you can see the V going from the center of the eye to the outside corner of the eye across the eyelid area checking for perfection and finishing it off if I need. One very important step is to make sure you darken up the eyebrows to make them look finished. I have very thin eyebrows so I use a darker color of eyeshadow to simply line my eyebrows with the brush. Going through each hair and smoothing it out just to give myself 
a more dramatic effect and cleaner look in my eyebrow area. Smoothen it out from the inside to the outside corner of the eye. Checking once again that I've gotten every hair. Now it's time to apply the liquid liner. Simply do a small stroke from the inside corner of my eye following the lash line to the outside corner. Going back over it to ensure that I've gotten the look that I want. If you need to, dip it back into the container to put more on. Then go back over and clean it up. I'll clean it up a little bit later to make sure I have the perfect effect. If you like, take a brown eyeliner and go over the bottom part of the eye. Just so you can darken it up a little bit. I don't like to use a lot of eyeliner because I want to maintain the brightness of my eyes even though I'm using a somewhat dark color, neutral color shadow. Just a thin line will do to achieve the look, the look that I'm going for. Last but not least, now I will apply my mascara. As you can see, I'm wearing false eyelashes. I put them underneath, which gives a more natural look when you're closing your eye or looking straight on. Most people don't notice that I wear false eyelashes. But I do, and I like them. Make sure you put mascara on the top of your eyelashes so when you do close them, they look completely covered in mascara instead of just empty on top and dark on the bottom. Check to see if you have the achieved desired look. Go back over any area that you choose. Last but not least, my final tool is to use my eye brush as well as comb to smooth out my straight eyebrows and comb my eyelashes so I will not have spider eye. I hate clumpy mascara more than anything. Check and see if you have that desired look that you're going for. If not, simply clean it up using a baby wipe. This is how I achieve my neutral eye. Showing you my eyes with my eye without makeup as well as with. If you have any further requests or suggestions, just let me know. This has been fun, you guys, and here's my final look. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you like the look, and I hope I've taught you something. Until next time, have a good day. Ciao. See you later. Jackie.